Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you about a little trick I use with dates. Um, let's make a new user form. Um, what I'm going to do is have a couple, uh, like a start date and an end date. And I'll double click there. And I'll put a little text box right here that represents the date. We'll call it TB Start Date. And then we'll copy that, Control C, Control V to paste, and we will have an end date here. So I'm just going to briefly uh, change my label a little bit to say end date. And we'll label this one TB as in text box end date. What I do though, because I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 and show you this user form now. If somebody types in a date like 1 slash 2 slash 13, as soon as I tab away it stays that way. Or if I do 1 slash 2 and I hit over there to tab or hit enter, it goes to the next one just fine. However, it doesn't turn this into a usable date. Uh, so what we want to do is make, the, make it automatically do that. So I'm going to exit that user form and go back to the editor, which of course you know if you're in the normal Excel you hit Alt F11 hold Alt down and hit F11 so what I want to do and this is very simple to do I used to pine over all these different methods you know uh, if this is a date and if this that and the other and I found there's a lot simpler way to do it go ahead and double click on each of these we'll go with the starting date one first we want to edit the code when it changes, uh, I don't think we want to do a change. I think we want to use a before update. So I use the before update code for that text box. Why is that? Uh, well, if you if you want it to, well, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you the reason why. We'll go ahead and do a change event first, and some of you will probably accidentally do that, anyways. But the the thing that we're gonna the code we're gonna use is on error resume next that tells it to ignore it if there's an error and then we're gonna say me dot tb starting date equals and use the c date function to convert whatever's typed in to a date equals convert the date equals c date of me dot tb start date and that'll do it now here's I've done it incorrectly deliberately using the change event so let's load up this user form here and uh, as you'll see as I start typing one so I just hit the number one and it typed that how about one slash oh I can't type the date because it as soon as anything changes in this cell or in this text box it tries to convert that into a date so that's what the number one would be that's not exactly what we want so let's double click there again I'm just gonna cut and paste control X and control V I'm gonna cut and paste that into the before update so before it updates after I leave the cell that's when we want to run this code here so let's try that now I'm gonna hit F5 so now whenever I type 1 slash 2 if I hit enter or if I hit tab it converts it into a date and plops it in that cell and then it goes ahead and moves on to the next cell so it's almost like an exit event but it analyzes it now if we have a bad date like here's a bad date okay that's so it didn't do anything it it ignored it basically so uh, 138 uh, see 1 1 but as long as somebody is using a good format, you can just type 1, 28, 3, 2. Now here's one, 2, 29. Yeah, I would, since there's not 29 days in February, t then it would say, it would think you're doing February of 2029. So that's how we do that. Let's do the other one really quick. Don't use the default change again. We want to scroll real up a little bit and use the before update. And we're going to say on error, resume next. Me dot tb end date equals c date, which is a date conversion of me dot tb end date. 
that's it. So, how about our starting date be the first of the month, and then the 31st. So you just have to type 1 slash 3 1 and hit enter or tab, and it converts it into this nice pretty format. Yeah, it's, it's a little something I do. I think it helps people a lot to be able to automatically have it pop in like that. Anyway, thanks for watching.